I had my mother and father-in-law in town, and it was really sweet because I, Sunday mornings, we it's pancakes and bacon, yeah, right? Okay. <laughs> that actually looks normal. It does. I want to hear more about that early Sunday morning phone call. That's for What she, about you? Uh, she, I, she, she was. You know, she, you know, we probably should have, <laughs> but it's PG, and we didn't, so... like. Oh, yeah, but old school PG. Old school it's PG. a little bit different. Than right, well, I, 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 we had forgotten kind of... <laughs> yeah, she was scared out of her mind. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. that was, uh, that was our, our Mother's Day week. We hope you all had a great weekend, especially mm -hmm. all the moms out there. And it's a big morning here because we are shining a light on Cleveland this morning for our Reopening America series. And that city really does hold a special place, not just... Winning because yeah. Bob Baffert is so legendary, yeah. you know, but there there is a record. This is the, the horse. It's not like the horse can shoot himself no, up. <laughs> you know, like the horse goes horse out there. Yeah. Problem years ago. But when people start to question the integrity of the sport, yeah. the sport suffers mightily. Yeah. Uh, and there are a lot of folks that, you know, don't just enjoy horse racing. They bet big money, money on horse racing. Absolutely. That's a good point. So the question is, if, you know, the tests do come back positive, who then wins the Kentucky yeah. Derby? Well, the second place horse... Uh, um, Mandaloon mm -hmm. will then be the winner of the Kentucky Derby. So I don't know how that affects money. Well, people don't get their money back. And, and people, you don't get your money back. Wait, you don't get your no, money no, back? No, no, no. How would that so that's work? Just how uh, that? that means Madoon can celebrate and have a big party, but <gasps> if you bet on him, you're not. Really? Yeah. Oh, that yeah, could that's... Be. I wonder which is why odds, they take what this What were the seriously. odds for Mandaloon? I mean, was it a big payout? I don't know. That's a good question. One? Can know, you it's... imagine? But we'll yeah. continue to follow we that. We will huh? continue to follow it. Yeah. yeah, well, another big story over the weekend. Elon didn't see the full, the full monologue, yeah. but, I mean, people were pretty... They thought he did pretty well. I, I think that a lot of folks were pleasant... ...with a comedian or an actor, yeah. because, I mean, the bar was so low. Everybody's like, how's he going to do good? How's yeah. he going to do good? And then it's like, wait, he did pretty good. He was actually... You like it that much? Yeah, I think the key is just to... What do I? I know, yeah. but when somebody's just who they are, right? Yes. They're themselves. They're authentic. He talked about the fact that he has, as, you know, Aspergers, and I mean, you know, I think people can appreciate that. I think his self-deprecation is also exactly. going to help endear him to, uh, to yeah. a lot of folks. When we come back, Al is going to come. I'm like, look, and where'd that come? John, from? Look at John morning. on a Monday. Shout out to John. Look at John on a Monday. Can we see it again, John? Come on, one more starting in motivational <laughs> Monday, a nonprofit that is changing the lives within the deaf community in a very creative way. I love this story. So we all have those old T-shirts, oh, you yeah. know that you feel nostalgic about, you can't quite get rid of, they're just collecting dust in the bottom of a drawer. Well, now you can preserve those memories in a new way and do some good at the same time. This morning, we are joined by two comedy legends. The show follows the story of a working class family in Indianapolis. Mike plays Benny, a charming mechanic doing his best to take care of his wife and kids. Wanda is his sarcastic sister-in-law who knows just how to get <laughs> under his skin. Take a look. You guys are such a great duo. I'm so happy about this one. Uh, Wanda, you're the co-creator of, uh, of the Upshaws. How did this even come about? Well, it started with Mike. Uh, you know, he wanted to meet and... Comedy, it's absolutely hilarious, but it covers real issues in the black community. So how do you marry the two? I mean, you know, um, as Wanda was... As but surely we've been talking about it all morning, Wanda. Get back to normal. You have you 2 you have Kim Field, such an all-star cast. How has it been for you guys? You, finally, after, what, 15 months, you've been able to perform in front of a live crowd? What was that like? What, were, were you nervous? So excited, you know? <laughs> It kind of brings us full circle. I think people are ready to get out and laugh, and people are ready for a show like this one. It's like, so I should tell everybody, uh, you know, the Upshaws premieres. It's right coming. It's coming this Wednesday on Netflix. Yes, so Wednesday. good. Congratulations. Congratulations. Good. Thank Thanks you for guys. Joining us, Thank guys. you guys. So good. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having us. Uh -huh. All right, coming up next, it's barbecue time. Barbecue champion Myron Mick. We love Make Ahead Monday around here, and we have four time world barbecue champion Myron Mixon, his new cookbook, Keto. Tomorrow, NBA star Kevin Love will join us live. Coming love up live. On Hoda and Jenna, it's Masterclass Monday with Chef Jet Tila. We will see you tomorrow. Have a great Monday, everybody. Bye.